hey what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce bolt so guys in today's video we are, we are going to implement the visual picker in a lightning web component uh, let me show the final output first so in lightning design system you may find this visual picker and there are so many types of pickers available like that and this is one with small icons medium icons select single picker or me or you are also having option to you know select multiple together so uh, in today's example we will be trying this non coverable content uh, in which the content will be displayed on the middle of the picker and then you may just uh, choose the required one so in our case we will be having the selection of multiple multiple uh, visual picker sections okay so <clears throat> i will be using the same list builder example just you know for the code reference which we used in the last uh, video so i'll be using the same list of account and probably we will try to display this account name here and what was the other field phone number and we will display the phone number underneath the uh, visual picker and then of course I mean you may modify it as per a requirement okay so let's start this demo okay all right uh, let me open my VS code here it is so this was my previous component list builder component uh, if you haven't checked it out yet then link uh, is in the top right corner of this video you may just directly click on that link and check this previous video as well so we'll create new component then we'll copy the code first and after that we will modify the code okay so here uh, let me create a new component first and let's name it visual picker Okay, so the new component is ready. Now let's copy the JavaScript part first from this list builder component. Okay, now I will take the sorry uh, earlier we copied the HTML. Now I will copy the JavaScript part. Okay, let's change the class name. alright let's take the meta tags as well because we'll be displaying it on the uh, lightning page okay let me close this very quickly where are we here it is so this was the meta tags okay so for this visual picker right now the output will be same like you can see the list builder here okay so that means we are having list of accounts here and now we will try to modify this functionality and try to display the visual picker okay so let's start it by removing the maybe we can remove the table first because we won't need the table there uh, we will take the fields or maybe we can just remove it till here because anyways we need the list of account so for that we'll be using the template and okay so the table is removed and from this list of account let me remove this these table decks yep there will be few errors at the beginning because we are just modifying the code all right and as it is a list then we have to you know mark a key here first
Okay, you may notice the errors are gone now because we have marked the key. All right, so we'll be using this list of accounts here and we'll try to display the data. So let's go back to Visual Picker code once. So this is the code guys and we will start with the base class. So let's take this field set and maybe we can have this class in a simple div tag as well. So uh, I don't think we need this grid vertical and so let's remove these three divs here and remove the closing one as well. Okay, so let's assume we are having only template here. And what is about okay nothing to notice so let's take the field set and the closing tag underneath that we need the form element and if you are planning to have label then you need this class only and so for today's example we won't be having any label here so we may skip this part now let's Take this form element first okay so this will be also a parent class here and okay I think I put it on wrong place this is the class and after template okay we have closed it and this is the main class guys. this is the class for visual picker so if you'll notice there are three pickers so we are having a for each so we'll use this one okay all right so let's start with the parent uh, dev tag first okay and we are already having a div here so we may just directly use this class and in visual picker guys uh, there are two options basically you may either choose the radio button or the checkbox I mean if you need to select uh, only one from the group then you need radio button and if you need multiple selection then you may use checkbox the same functionality I mean this is the basics right okay and here the type is radio okay id is visual picker 98 value and we are having name as well so for this input we will change the id value and the of course the name as well okay so uh, so basically they need unique value so we will take the account id as id Let's keep the name same. Okay, so we are having ID and name. What else is required? Okay, so we need ID, value and name. Okay. So We are having okay. We are having two names here. That's why it was giving error. So we are having ID, name, and value as they have mentioned here. Okay. Now underneath that we are having this label tag. So let's copy this part for once. So guys for this label if you will notice this label is working for this id so we have to keep the id same here so here also we'll be using the acc id which is of course account id okay the class and these things should stay same 
and what we are having here acc name and acc phone account name and account phone let's remove the old values and here uh where is this value so this is the main target so we may use account name here in the second span class i'm not having anything so you may just i mean uh have the title or maybe you you can leave it empty or remove it it's up to you and underneath that instead of these lines we'll be just having uh let's say or maybe we can say contact number and here we can have the contact number okay and what else we are having here okay so we are having icon as well and uh, they are using the svg icon which is not going to work here so instead of this svg icon we will be using the lightning icon so let's remove it and add a lightning icon here okay lightning icon and let's take the closing that first okay mm, let's take utility check okay i think size is required so we will give extra small okay i think that should be enough footer is fine okay seems good to me let's see if we can deploy it uh, but before deploying it uh, let's modify the handle change i mean you definitely need the handle change so uh, on handle change you may get the, the same like the event dot current target dot name and that name you will be getting this acc id so basically the handle change will be same like we did in the last example so we i think we don't have to change anything here okay let's try to deploy it and let's see if it get deployed successfully in the first attempt okay it is deployed successfully now let's go back to the example and here let's create a new tab lightning app builder oops I was supposed to go on app manager okay this is my application let's edit it create a new page visual picker it is let's make it one region Okay, this is the page and this is the component okay we are not having any error here as well uh, but we are still having that old list checkbox maybe you know because we are still using the same class here which we used in the previous example so we have to modify that as well so let's save it first so at least you know we could just see the output and make the changes as per the output okay let's make it visible here list builder save awesome let's save now let's refresh this page
visual picker okay uh, so we are having that layout but still you know we are having this so we have to remove those classes okay let me see the class here I think it is in the type the type should be checkbox instead of that it is checkbox button or maybe we can do one thing let's have the simple input type with checkbox label let's remove the label let's remove the variant as well so we are having type ID value name and on change so this is just basic HTML now okay let's save it and deploy it again let me reload the page yep we are having the output now so that's how you you can create a visual picker and still the icon should be in the inverse color so let's make the icon inverse where it is contact number okay so here in the lightning icon we can have the variant inverse all right okay you may see the inverse icon now so guys that's how you may create a visual picker and you know this could be a good uh, ui i mean whenever you need to give some selection kind of a thing to user maybe you want maybe you want user to select more than one value so in that case you know it could be a really good and handy ui so that's how you may use this uh, visual picker in your lightning web component guys and of course, uh, as usual, the complete code will be available on my blog, which is salesforcebold.com. So if you need the complete code, do check it out. Feel free to modify it as per a requirement. And yep, that's it for today. If you like today's video, subscribe to the channel it will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.